Hi Cancer, it is me Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. We'll see what God Angels Universe has for you. Hierophant, Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. This kind of looks like a lot of you guys are married to your work or married to your careers. And I feel like your love life or your heart um, is wanting some time. Kind of feels like maybe you know it's ready to start giving and receiving love. Now, with that Ace of Wands, yeah, it kind of feels like you know you need to start to jumpstart your love life. And with the Justice card there, it kind of feels like the universe also agrees. I feel like you, you with so many Cancer are looking for, you know, reciprocal love. You know, not just you doing all of the hefty lifting emotionally, but also that you find a, a mate or a partner who is going to put in as much work as you are. Now you got the double queen of pentacles, um, you got the queen of cups and knight of cups, and you have the two of wands here. The two of wands is kind of being at a crossroad trying to figure out, do I go with the new or do I um, revisit the old? With the um, judgment card here in the queen of pentacles, I kind of feel like you could have, um, kind of feels like you may have two options in love, in all honesty, right? Here's the spark of somebody new, but here's the resurrection of that new person. It could be the same person or it could be someone from your past. Um, this, yeah, you got three options, right? You have, uh, I should say, two additional options. Three in total, you and two people. Um, and I feel like you don't know which one to choose. I also kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, your heart is not really into making this choice or maybe you don't want to choose you don't like the options that are being presented um it kind of feels like maybe there's a capricorn or a taurus or pisces that you are having to choose from i do kind of feel like oh uh, yeah kind of feels like you both you work with both of them Ooh, interesting and that's probably why you don't want to make the choice because you don't want to have a work a work affair yeah Yeah, it kind of feels like two individuals from your workplace are, you know, maybe asking you out for dinner, drinks, and you kind of have to make a decision, but I feel like you don't want to. Four of Wands, I feel like, yeah, you're ready to settle down and get married. Yeah, look at that, Two of Pentacles, you are juggling, going back and forth with a decision or between two options. There's the resistance, the fear of the unknown. Fear of making the wrong decision. And the stress and worry, anxiety. Queen of Wands. So that's the third queen on the, t on the floor. Which is uh, the Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles. I actually have the Queen of Pentacles here twice. So there are four queens out here on the floor. And I feel like... Um, it's almost like each one of these individuals bring out a different side of you and you like the side that they bring out but i feel like to an extent um that that those um work romances it's almost like they kind of all end the same you know and that's exactly how i feel like you're feeling which is causing you hesitation to choose right um not only that but with that queen of wands I feel like these individuals, to an extent, could be applying pressure. Well, why don't you let me take you out? I mean, we could just, just discuss this over dinner or discuss this over drinks. And you're like, mm, I got to go soak my feet tonight, Todd. Right? Um, standing your ground and being resistant. Yeah. Kind of saying to them, I don't believe in work romances. 
thanks for the offer, but have a great day. And then by the time you turn around again, here they come again talking about, you sure I can't buy you a cup of coffee? I do kind of feel like, yeah, you're procrastinating. I feel like, again, you don't you don't want to make this decision because to you, it's almost like it's just a bad decision all around. Right. Say like you choose one of them and you're like, eh, if I choose this one, then I'm going to lose the option of this one. And if you choose the second one, you're going to lose the option of the first one. Excuse me. So for you, you're like, oh, well, I'm not going to choose. I'm not going to choose because work romances suck. Then when you go off and you're like, OK, well, I'm not going to choose. Here they come after you. Ooh, sticky wicked. In the near future, well, what's going to happen? Remain positive, okay. Reconsider, okay. Abundance. Ooh, that's still, it's up to you. That's still not, all that's doing is reiterating the point that you have this very immensely difficult choice to make. Let's peekaboo at your romance angels cards and see what information they give. Ooh, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, spirit, but for, with who? Right, that hierophant, that's marriage. Oh, angels are saying go with the one who wants to marry you. Right? Go with the one who is looking for marriage, who wants to be married. I feel like there's one of these people who is like, yeah, you know, I'm a serial monogamist. You know, I love making my partners happy. I love being in love. I love being in a relationship. That's the one you go for. Because I feel like there's one of them, right? Who's providing maybe some stable loving, right? Who may be rejected. This person, oh God. This person, angels are saying to me, is the free-spirited one. They're the one who's like, oh, I don't believe in labels, but I believe in loving who I love. Yeah, get rid of that one. <laughs> get rid of that one. Because I feel like you'll be forever chasing a title with this person. Yeah, it, they will keep you in a state of emotional starvation and keep you stressed and worried. But you're highly attracted to that one. That's the one that allows your passions to sing out. But that's the one who wants a glorified situationship reconciliation someone from your past is stirring your romantic is re returning to your life i don't know what i was reading <coughs> excuse me so you have someone coming back from your past someone wants to reconcile with you Ooh, child don't don't do the work drama angels are saying it could have been somebody who you messed with previously at work Who's wanting you back? Release your ex. It's time to clear your um, clear your energy. Well, that person coming back from your past, if it's your ex, your angels just said, uh-uh. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Interesting. Yeah, Cancer, you got you in a sticky wicked, with wicked, as my British brothers and sisters would say. And that just means that, yeah, you have you may have multiple options. You going back and forth. You don't know how to proceed. The universe is there to try to help you out. But it's almost like this path, this this energy is intensifying. And I, I love it because you're in the driver's seat right now. You're the one who will make the decision. I have Taurus, Pisces, Capricorn, Aries and Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces and Cancer, and Aries, Libra, and Cancer. So you're kind of all over your reading along with your fellow water signs. I feel like, yes, absolutely, this is a matter of a heart type situation. And I feel like, you know, it kind of caught you off guard to the point where you don't know what decision to make. Um, and even if you did know what decision to make, you don't want to make that decision. Because it's almost like to choose one person is to, by default, eliminate somebody else. And in all honesty, I think you may like the passion and the flirtation and being in demand and you know everybody looking up in your face cancer 
I ain't mad at you. But um, yeah, angels are saying go to uh, choose the one who wants more um, stability, right? Because with the Queen of Pentacles there, that is the Queen of Stability. Here you are, Cancer in the Moon position. Um, yes, it's all about your heart, your feelings, your emotions. But what's going to be worth more than that is a stable partner. All right, baby cakes, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Cancer. Bye.